okay so we are uh, we are on the f- uh, we are reading the humming effect by jonathan goldman we are on chapter 2 page number 11 uh, page number 19 of the book chapter 2 the physics of sound how and why sound heals an examination of the majority of spiritual paths and religions on this planet reveals an overriding mm-hmm. belief that sound was the primary force of creation so now again sound was the primary force of creation this is something that is which is there in all cultures okay a to z all cultures have this examples of this come from the old testament and god said let there be light and the new testament in the beginning was the word it comes from many other traditions egyptian hopi mayan polynesian and more which all have creation myths that invoke the power of sound it is said in the hindu spiritual path that nad brahman everything is sound even from a western scientific perspective we talk about the big bang signifying that the creation of the universe was somehow sonic in origin okay so interestingly we are going to have uh, a lady who is going to be talking about nad okay on monday in a 915 uh, talk so very well very connected and she just manifested so that's great modern scientists like our ancient mystics tell us that everything is in a state of vibration from the electrons moving around the nucleus of an atom to planets in distant galaxies spinning around their suns okay now when we look at science basic physics the molecule is made out of the atom the atom is made out of the neutrons electrons and proton and the electron is constantly circulating around the neutron and proton so every atom is vibrating now since everything is made out of the atom it implies that everything is vibrating this is what is sound healing is based on when we are using the life life system it is totally based on this when we are using batch flower remedies or homeopathic medicine it is all based on vibratory frequencies okay so everything has a basic vibratory frequency from the very tiny to the very large everything vibrates as many of our modern physicists understand energy and matter are interrelated thus if all forms of energy are putting out a vibration all that energy can be considered sound whether we can hear it or not okay so now whether we can hear it or not the human ear can only hear sounds from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz okay the from one second yeah so oops sorry yeah so the human ear can only hear these sounds okay but there are sounds which are beyond that and beyond that here also so like when we are using binaural beats what are we doing the human ear can only hear 20 hertz now the brain is functioning the main meditative frequencies are below that so we are the delta is from 0 from 0.5 hertz to 4 hertz theta is from 4 hertz to 8 hertz alpha is from 8 hertz to 12 hertz and then the cognitive beta is from 12 hertz to maybe 18 16 hertz so all this is below the hearing threshold so that's why we use binaural beats to create that sound in the cranium which allows us to go into those states of consciousness but again it's because we can't hear it it doesn't mean that sound does not exist sound is energy that travels as a wave the wave enters our ears and travels through our auditory pathways into our brain ultimately affecting our breathing heart rate and nervous system so sound has the ability to affect our entire body system all the systems can be affected by sound we experience this wave like energy primarily as a phenomenon that we hear however these waves also pass into our body affecting us on a cellular level so again the waves are passing through us that's why many of these waves like the wifi wi- waves or the cellular tower waves or now we are going to have a talk on 5g and 4g also 
how they affect us and it has been seen in uh, in the biogeometry uh, uh, classes they actually did a study where these towers were put up the cell phone towers were put up and because of that it started affecting the health of this entire village so the tower was put up in top of the church and since then everything started going wrong so dr abraham karim actually went into that space and he devised various symbols and various shapes etc which when pointed at a particular thing and etc etc they were able to neutralize the negative effect of the towers so there are ways in which you can isolate the frequencies but just because we can't hear or see them it doesn't mean they don't affect our body system so the these wave like also pass into our body affecting us at the cellular level this is also what royal raymond rife's research was based on where he could actually using sound frequencies blast cells the cancer cells were being blasted okay so of course sound affects us sounds are measured in cycles per second of frequency as measured in hertz slow moving waves of sound create deep tones a sound with a frequency of 60 hertz for example is very bassy and low a sound with fast waves such as 1000 cycles per second would be a relatively trebly and high pitched the lowest note on a piano has a frequency of, of about 24 hertz and the highest note is around 5000 hertz so again 24 hertz and 5000 hertz well within our hearing range which is from 20 to 20000 hertz our range of hearing ex extends from around 16 hertz to around 16000 hertz or sometimes higher young children for example can hear upwards of 18000 hertz or more so again i have been told it's 20 to 20000 over here he is saying 16 uh, 16 hertz to 16000 and as very good singers etc they can actually discern the pitch and they discern the sound very much more so depending on what your hearing capacity is you can actually hear sound there's an interesting thing i was reading in another book these people who are the perfumers in uh, uh, in france their olfactory uh, nerves are very very powerful and they can really discern the smell of stuff okay so they they were doing an experiment where they had one kind of a perfume and they dropped a drop of let's say lemon into that perfume and the smell totally changed from let us say from um, uh, what do you call it? jasmine by dropping that one lemon drop it turned into rose so things like that can also happen okay so like that they have a extreme sensitivity of smell a person can have extreme sensitivity of hearing also however just because we can't hear something doesn't mean a sound isn't being created as an example our friends in the ocean the dolphins can project and receive frequencies upwards of 180000 hertz that's more than 10 times our best range of hearing so that's why the the sonar which is sent out by the uh, dolphins has tremendous healing properties also because they can actually modulate the frequency that they are generating sounds with a frequency below the human level of hearing are called infrasound sounds with a frequency above the human level of hearing are called ultrasound okay so ultra and infra resonance knowing that all matter vibrates we can move on to explore the idea that every object including every organ bone and tissue in our body has resonance or a natural vibratory state so again each muscle has its own frequency each bone has its own frequency there was one case in which this person had actually torn a ligament we were able to identify the muscle and give the frequencies for that particular muscle and if the doctor had said it's going to take 3 weeks for you to recover the guy actually recovered at a much faster rate because we were able to identify that exact frequency which was required to heal that particular muscle there's been much speculation on how to determine the natural frequencies of a healthy organ 
Some find that they are within the audible sonic range between 16 hertz and 16,000 hertz. Others find that they fall well below this audible range or like ultrasound, far above it. When the body is healthy and balanced, these vibrations are in harmony with each other. So now this is important. Each organ has its own vibratory frequency, but each is, there is a harmony. It's like an orchestra which is playing. Now, whenever there is some organ or some instrument which is not playing well, it disturbs the entire organism. Okay. So again, when a healthy body is healthy and balanced, these vibrations are in harmony with each other. So we can actually figure out which organ is not in harmony and do something to help that organ to become back into harmony. This is what how the life system works. We can do the same thing with the Lecker antenna also to check whether which organ is actually working properly or not. So there are various ways in which we can approach the same thing. We can use the tuning forks also because any organ which is not functioning properly if with intent, we can actually figure out if it is not working properly and then using the tuning forks, create harmony within that organ also. Of course, it's not something which will happen overnight. It takes time, but it can be done. When the body is imbalanced, it is in a state of dissonance. The resonant qualities of its constituent parts are in disharmony. So again, it's like any orchestra. If any of the instrument, the the conductor of the orchestra will be able to figure out, okay, that instrument is not playing well. So this is very, very important. One of the most extraordinary demonstrations of the effects of sound has and resonance was conducted by a visionary Swiss doctor named Hans Jenny. Dr. Jenny's seminal work titled Cymatics, a Greek word that means wave form. So again, cymatics is basically the process whereby uh, what they do basically is that they put uh, powder on a plate and various frequencies are played and each frequency generates its own sound. I have videos of it. I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to show you videos of Cynetics. His first volume was published in 1967, showed the effects that sound waves have upon different types of material, including water, paste and other liquids. Yes, yeah, so Cynetics can work on all states. So they make this glue, uh, uh, Mane, uh, uh, what do you call this? Mane, a paste-like thing. And then you can see forms coming in that. It can happen on water. It can happen to fire also. Sound can even affect the flame. So it's very interesting. I'll show you the video. Dr. Jenny placed these substances on a steel plate and vibrated the plate with a crystal oscillator, which produced an exact frequency and then he photographed the effects. He photographed liquid plastic, a material similar to silly putty, that formed into an object resembling a sea anemone, and lycopodium dust, a material similar to talcum powder that took on shapes resembling the cells of the body. Some of his most amazing photos were of water, which took on astonishing geometry depending upon the vibrational frequency that was used. Okay, so again, various shapes were formed. So this, what this actually showed, that sound was the precursor to shapes. So every shape has a corresponding sound. It has also been told that the miniature paintings which were painted uh, when Tansen etc. was singing were representative of the song or the rag and that's how it those paintings actually came about dr jenny's work demonstrates the extraordinary power of vibration that is sound to create form while the structures and forms he created with sound were not living creatures many of them certainly look as though they were you can almost imagine that with a divine sound coming from a sacred source in the beginning, the word could indeed create life. So again, when we see these pictures, I've seen these videos, I don't know if I have them, but you know, they actually look like living creatures. You cannot think that they're not living. And the way they move, etc., it's as if really they are living. What is equally important with regard to Dr. Jenny's experiments is that the effects are repeatable. 
If you take the same substance and expose it to the same frequency that Dr. Jenny used, you will get the same result. This consistent structuring, a certain vibration leads to a certain form, is a manifestation of resonance. If the vibration changes, the structure changes in concert with it. Yeah, so this can definitely be seen. When you change the frequency, the form changes. Several people have carried on Dr. Jenny's work in the 21st century, including Alexander Lauterwasser of Germany and John Stuart Reed of England. The following are two photos taken by Reed showing the beautiful geometric forms that water took on when vibrated by two diverse frequencies on a cymoscope, a device similar to Dr. Jenny's. Okay, I have this, uh, I have these, uh, these forms, I have the software. I will, I will post some pictures of various sounds being made on the group. Okay, naturally we can't see it because we don't have the book. Yeah, but you all can see it here. Okay, so these are the sounds. I have the software, I will play some sounds and I'll post the pictures on the group. When you think about the fact that the human body is mostly made of water, it's easy to realize how powerful the effects of sound can be upon us. So sound has a tremendous effect on water. Okay. We've seen it in Dr. Emoto's experiments also and with the experiments in cinetics. Let's now examine two different, almost diametrically opposed ways in which sound can be used for healing. Both involve the concept of resonance. How sound can heal method one. For this first method of healing... Would you like to see the video first before we move? We could. Yeah. See the video? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess we could. Yes. Hang on. La 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 la. Just one second, I have to find the Okay, I found it just one second. Just hold on, share the screen. Okay. Oops, 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 sorry. Let's say you play a sign. A speaker attached to a dish of water. Depending on what frequency you play, a pattern will be made in the dish of water.
Now, the effects on water are interesting on their own, but by mixing some of that water with about twice as much cornstarch, we get what's called a non-Newtonian fluid, a substance that flows like a liquid, but under stress stiffens into sort of a solid. And this makes for some rather interesting results under strong vibration. Watch what happens as I turn up the amp using a 60 hertz wave. become like an insect. They're like a baby in the world. Higher frequencies work as well, but seem to require a bit more amplification. starch, water, and a little sound. Ooh. It's better than sea monkeys. You don't have to feed it. See what happens if you leave it on overnight. <clears throat> Wake up in the morning and there'll be a six foot cymatic creatures walking about. Yeah. Probably not, but could happen. And if you're interested in making your own pet cymatic blob, here's what I used. One subwoofer speaker with okay, a center are you, are you interested in this? a plastic dish hot glued to the rim. Okay, to generate second, my frequency, I'll show you another video. Send the link of this now, Niket, on the group there's, there's later. No oh. I'm not supposed okay. to be showing you all this. One second. <laughs> this is workshop data. Okay, I just wanted to tell something. I'm a certified uh, bachelor therapist from the Bath Center, actually. Mm. So that day when they spoke about batch, I was really happy. Because I'm a practitioner of it, uh, I have clients and all, so I thought I'd just tell Please you. Please talk to me separately. Yeah, definitely. I don't know who you are. The Pali. Okay. This one is very interesting. See how the water is changing shapes. Wow, this is easily visible. Yeah. Um, this foot. They've, they've taken a photo of it, so definitely so beautiful. Visible. I think we saw this in one of your sessions earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we did see it. Very interesting. Nikesh, is COVID made with the effect of uh, 
sound on something everything has sound covid also must be having COVID a frequency but... definitely it will have a frequency yeah that's so how chinese the different from. the different frequencies are creating different uh, waveforms Uh, bhaiya that means for a sick person who has got covid a, a particular frequency can help him or her 101% why not huh? to be why cured not? like uh, you know, it's cured uh, definitely i don't see any yeah. reason why not see the reverse effect now you'll see as if the water is going up it's beautiful So it's the same thing what we talk is something that makes covid and something that can reverse back okay so there's one more i'll show you fantastic Is sound waves on what? so very high pitched hitting our heads also Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Kelly, yeah, stop the share. Yeah. So we are very back. nice. Very nice. So you can see, sound has an effect. Okay, and uh, uh, I have this software. When you make various sounds, the pictures that I showed you here, these pictures come with different sounds. You get different pictures. How sound can heal? Method one. For the first method of healing with sound, let's visualize a healthy body like an orchestra that is playing all together in balance and harmony. Let's call this music the symphony of the self. Using this metaphor of the body as an orchestra, what happens when the second violin player loses his sheet music? Pretty soon, that violin player might begin to play the wrong notes and the wrong rhythm. Usually. in a very short amount of time the rest of the string section begins to sound off in fact as this dissonance develops you will begin to notice that there's something wrong with the entire orchestra it just doesn't sound right you got that so like again i repeat all the organs in our body are like various musical instruments in an orchestra if one of them is off then it sets off all the other or all the other uh, organs also so this becomes very important you know when we have these doctors just treating one organ it creates a little bit of a problem because the body acts as a whole it never acts in isolation 
and always you'll have con uh, uh, conflict with doctors someone is working with the diabetes the other guy is working with the lungs so one guy will say one thing the other guy will say something else so it becomes a hell of a thing to manage doctors to come on the same page this is akin to a part of our body vibrating out of its healthy resonance it's vibrating out of tune and out of ease and we then say that this part of our body is diseased this is one of the basic principles of using sound as a healing modality is to restore the part of the body that is diseased back into a state of healthy resonance it is very much like getting the sheet, mu sheet music back to that string player so again any kind of stress when we are seeing first there's a stress the stress causes a dis ease the dis ease causes a disease and then the disease causes the symptoms okay so the idea is to get rid of the stress or the dis ease if you can remove the dis ease then automatically everything else falls into line it seems appropriate at this time to honor dr peter guy manners one of jonathan's mentors and one of the greatest pi great pioneers in the field yeah. of therapy Dr Manners passed away at the turn of this century but he has been engaged in the research and practice of sound healing since the 1950s his work focused on finding the correct frequencies to restore healthy resonance to different parts of the body for different conditions he created the cymatic instrument now known by other names which had the ability to project over 600 different combinations of frequencies which he called commutations in order to strengthen an imbalanced portion of our anatomy due to some legal issues his work and his instrument was not as well known at the time as it is perhaps could have been however today trained practitioners in the field of sound healing readily employ numerous devices based upon the work of dr manners with remarkable healing benefit so again sound healing uh, there's another gentleman i forget his name sound therapy that guy also uses a lot of stuff and he's written also a lot of books on that so there are many methods of sound healing Although we have been introduced to many different types of instruments designed for sound healing our preferred instrument is one that doesn't require electricity or batteries has an owner's manual that's really simple to use and is free this instrument is of course our own voice and it's what we have been teaching for dozens of years okay so again we can use our own voice as a sound healing instrument please note we are not talking about using the voice in a musical fashion such as singing that's entertainment we are not talking about getting up in front of an audience and singing strangers in the night or whatever song turns you on here in relation to sound specifically used for healing we are talking about the concept of entrainment so entrainment okay so we are entraining our body system to vibrate at a certain frequency so that it leads to health it is not entertainment it is entrainment the term entrainment comes from physics and it describes the way in which the vibrations of one object can affect the vibrations of another object through entrainment we can synchronize or harmonize one vibration with another for example we can use our own voice to vocalize a tone through humming that can entrain vibrations in other parts of our bodies bringing them into a state of balance so again it's a matter of resonance okay there are many ways to use entrainment for sound healing at a basic level you can use vibration humming to restore the natural resonance of an organ or system when an organ begins to vibrate out of its natural frequency its energy becomes blocked so now this is exactly what we are doing in biofield tuning that we are we are taking the the pure sound generated by the tuning fork and putting it into the field to create harmony in the field so if there's any dissonance if there is any kind of imbalance 
the sound of the frequent the the fork is changing and that lets us know that okay there is some issue over here and then when we transcend it the sound actually clears up you can actually feel it yesterday we could feel the silence you know when the when the uh, earth star the sun star actually slotted in you could actually feel the silence it was ab absolutely palpable in the session yesterday when an organ begins to vibrate out of its natural frequencies its energy becomes blocked the organ then becomes vulnerable to potential imbalances deterioration disease viruses bacteria and so on so now if there is dissonance that means there is weakness in the system there is stress in the system and that is the time when pathogens etc can actually get and attack the system if the resilience is good in a system then you will fall sick less you will not fall sick because you have the capacity to hold on when we reinforce its natural frequency the organ's resonance is restored it regains its energy the intruder energy that was causing damage ceases to exist and the organ is restored to health you might also use different rhythms to influence body pulses such as our heartbeat respiration and brain waves okay so now this is important heartbeat okay so we've got pulses all over the body in fact now we have a person who's going it's called jin singh and we are going to have a talk on wednesday now on how to use the pulse of the body in various parts of the body the pulse is not only in our in in our wrists there are various points of pulsation and using where the pulse is blocked you can actually restore the pulsation in that part of the body to create harmony so what he says over here, using our heartbeat respiration breathing patterns this is very well clearly indicated in the heart math process where we actually see that the hrv is affected by our breathing pattern so you can affect your heart using your breathing patterns and brain wave patterns of course the heart affects the brain so if i can affect the uh, affect the heart rate variance i can affect the brain wave pattern also through the principle of vibrations or you can use sounds that are slightly out of tune called beat frequencies which can be applied in a specific manner to influence brain waves so this beat frequencies is by basically binaural beats which is used in the hemisync process we will discuss some of these uses of entrainment later in this book okay i think it's 319 we can stop here and we'll take it up again next week okay anyone anything to say yeah yes. like we read the first book uh, the child child magical wala book magical the first child. padhe the uh -huh. magical child you had taken pictures of the yeah, pages yeah i will organize it i will organize it by next time yeah. don't worry we yeah so we can do like that also yeah yeah we thank will do you. that we ram do. ram 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 thank anyone, you anyone anything yes uh, i want to say yes something. nidhi um uh, yeah like uh, if i am i started humming since last 5 6 days yeah so when i for more than 5 7 minutes uh, i have uh, my head becomes heavy and after some time there's some palpitation yeah so what see again we are not used to it right so the point is to take it one step at a time if you are humming for 5 minutes and it's affecting you then you hum for one minute that's all do it break de ke karo instead of doing it in one shot दूसरा क्या है हो सकता है सम पिच दैट यू आर यूजिंग नाउ यू मे बी हमिंग इन वन वे व्हिच इज नॉट सूटिंग यू राइट सो चेंज द पिच ऑफ द ऑफ द हम दैट यू आर डूइंग यू कैन हम फ्रॉम योर स्टमक यू कैन हम फ्रॉम योर चेस्ट यू कैन हम फ्रॉम योर थ्रोट यू कैन हम फ्रॉम योर नेजल पैसेज सो देयर आर सो मेनी वेज इन यू कैन हम फॉर एग्जांपल आई कैन डू अ अ नो आई डोंट नो व्हिच वन इज अफेक्टिंग यू ओके सो द आईडिया इज टू एक्सपेरिमेंट विद इट Okay. And what Ram we, Ram. What we have seen is that definitely, definitely the resonant tuning that we use in the uh, in the uh, hemisync process is a, it's absolutely the same as humming, and it can actually remove pain rather than create pain. Okay. okay. Now also, if there are certain blocks in your system, 
so when you are humming it is triggering those blocks so it causes a little bit of irritation so there are two ways of looking at it either you shift the tone you mm -hmm. change the duration or you persist with it because if there is a block then that is tattooing the block and the block will mm -hmm. automatically get transient so now it's up to mm -hmm. you to experiment okay, okay. i would suggest ram 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 i would ram. suggest ram. okay you would suggest i suggest to experiment okay 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू भैया मामी जी आपका वो कितने दिन में होगा दैट इज दिंग ना वो आप आप बॉस से जाके पूछिए बॉस क्या बोलेंगे मैं बॉस ऊपर में है भगवान जी का नाम बोल रहे हैं मेरे लिए बॉस वही है सुनो <laughs> सुनो फिर सीधे ही जाए क्या ऊपर नहीं तो सबको जाना ही है अल्टीमेटली तो जाना ही है तो अभी अभी तुरंत जाए जाके पूछे नहीं पूछ के यहाँ क्यों आएंगे ऑल्टरनेट ऑल्टरनेट और ऑल्टरनेट स्टेट ऑफ कॉन्शियस में जाके पूछिए कैसे पूछेंगे हमको बताइए तो हमको नहीं मालूम है एक्सपेरिमेंट करिए इसमें कोई और चारा नहीं है मम्मी जी यू हैव टू एक्सपेरिमेंट टू सी वॉट वर्क फॉर Because कैसे मालूम पड़े अरे आप ट्राई करिए ना अलग अलग फ्रीक्वेंसी में अगर आप हम ओम कितना करते हैं ठीक है राम भरोसे जी रहे शेयर समथिंग विद यू यस यस प्लीज ये एक्चुअली आफ्टर द बायोफिल ट्यूनिंग एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट माय आई स्टार्टेड वॉटरिंग ये Yeah, and then uh, my eyes started feeling very relaxed. And today morning, I found that like I was able to see more clearer without my glasses. I Beautiful. mean, the uh, specs also actually. Wonderful. So I really like that uh, thing. What happened to me yesterday? Great, great. It's possible. Absolutely possible. Take care, yeah, especially to my vision eyesight. Right? Wonderful. Yeah. So see, we are all on screen a lot, right? So there's a lot of pressure on the eyes right now. So yeah, when we go into a relaxed state, yeah, it can definitely affect the eyesight. Totally. There's no doubt in that. Okay. Anyone Thank else? You, anything? Bhaiya. Yes. Bhamri bhi. Yeah, just a second. Yeah. Bhamri bhi help kar sakta hai. Hundred and one percent. Bhamri, Bhamri you put your hands like this, na? So there's a focus on the eyes also. Yeah. You're basically putting it like that. Yeah. Close kar dete na? Like, yeah. So you. Like this. Yeah. So you put your eyes there and. Naturally, you are creating a vibration in this area. So, of course, Brahmri can also okay. help. Mummy, ji, Brahmri can help you. Actually, Bhaiya, but what I felt was even I do Brahmri every day. Actually, okay. But Main yesterday, what karati. happened? I eyes become dry because of constant exposure to the screen. Yeah. And the water should come out of your eyes. You know, once the water comes out, you know, the, that is more relaxing. Correct. True. That's it. मैं रोज करती हूँ ब्राह्मी ओम करती हूँ दस मिनट सो माने अगर वो काम नहीं कर रहा है तो आप शिफ्ट करिए पिच को शिफ्ट करिए ड्यूरेशन को शिफ्ट करिए ट्राई करिए भैया आईज पामिंग इज सपोज टू बी वेरी रिलैक्सिंग वेरी गुड बिकॉज वी गॉट चक्र इन देंड राइट इफ यू पुट योर पाम That can also yeah. help. Yeah, it might help. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mami ji, so many. Mami ji also has actually. Hand ko eyes. Yeah, actually, uh, regarding this humming also, like this yeah. uh, om. When we say the om and all, and if you yeah. say it in a very humming tone and you for a prolonged time, you know, that yeah. also creates some uh, resonance in your. Absolutely, brain. that is humming only. Yeah. yeah. That is basically humming only. And it's very relaxing and soothing also. Absolutely. Many a times in nature also, if you find the ripples of the water, correct. Or sometimes you, you know, we have big ponds and all. You go near the lake or the pond, you find yeah. the ripples there are also very soothing. Or even Absolutely. the sound of waves also is very soothing at times. Hundred and one percent. Hundred and one percent. Anyone else? Anything? Uh, Bhaiya, can you please uh, share the PDF copy of this book on yeah, this group? Yeah, I will share. Or... It's it's already been shared in all the groups here. Share. Okay. 
but okay. it it is not complete so we look for a complete we look for a complete one and then i'll share that okay thank you otherwise we'll give pictures thank we'll you. post pictures on the group are you on the uh, book reading group thank you uh no bhi i am in the uh, uh virtual i think group? meditation group okay. yes yes i am in the so I'll, I'll, group i'll send you the uh, link for the or i'll add you to the book reading okay anyone okay, else thank anything you. thank you bhi thank you anyone anything else thank you, we'll uh, wrap up yeah bhi yeah, can uh ah, meena ji ram 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 uh, can the cataract be cured with the biofilm Catrix. I I, I do not have experience with that, but yeah, with biofield tuning, uh-huh. everything can be helped. That is a given. But okay. I do not know if it will result in a okay. pure cure or not. But cataract cataract is very very simple okay. now. You can easily get the cataract operation done. Yeah, yeah, the same. But it's not that bad. But uh, I'm just uh, asking for whether. See, it will help. I don't feel help. anything. yeah it will help uh-huh. but i can't uh, guarantee what will happen there's one doctor uh, there is neither doctor neer schneider yeah he does a lot of work on the eyes it's there on the youtube also okay he he was actually he's he is very progressive he got a at 13 he had a um, a certificate thing was blind for life Okay. And now he he is in America and he has got a driving license. Great. So uh, Chitra ji, can you send me the link? Can you send me sure. the YouTube link? Yeah, sure. Yeah, then I can post it on the. Yeah. Okay. I'll... Anyone else? I'll post it to the relevant pe- people. Anyone else? Anything? Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you send Thank you. me the link? Uh, can you add me to the book club? Book yeah. Yeah. So just send me a message that you want to be added to the book club, Nidhi. Okay. Okay. Just send me a WhatsApp message. You have my number. Nidhi, yes, do you yes, have? have you have my number. Just send a message. I have. I have your number. It'll be easier for me. Are you on one of the virtual okay. groups? Okay. Thank you. Are you on one of?